Hey everybody, hello and welcome. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. It is the 4th day of January 2022. Uh, I promised that on Tuesdays and Thursdays we were going to do more review type things. So today I want to look at a virtual tabletop called Owl Bear Radio, which is supposed to be very simple, very bare bones. I was playing with it a little bit last night on Aaron the Pendantic's uh, game stream thing. Uh, and it is pretty intuitive. I was able to figure out most of it in a few minutes. And for me to enjoy using a tabletop, virtual tabletop, and figure it out, that says a lot. Because as we know, I do not do machines, computers, programs very well. So uh, first off, this is the dice tray. You can change its color. Uh, you can change what it looks like. You could, if you do this, um, you can share it with everybody else or you can keep it secret. It does all the standard dice. I'm assuming you could probably add more some way. And I just love the way it looks when you roll the dice. Um, bam. <laughs> Look at that. Bam. That's just fun. I mean, I could just, this alone is just like, it's almost like a mini game. It's like I could just do this all day. Um, I tried to see how many dice I could get in here to see if I could break it, and you can't. I mean, I was able to fill this entire box with like at least five layers of digital dice, and it didn't break. And then it carefully keeps a running total down here. Um, you can add people, um, and then we have these little things here. You could change the name of your character. So as you can see right now up here, it says OGGM under party, but I could change that to... Steve and changes uh, you can add friends by sending them this the code you can share the audio if you're doing a timer a thing like we are it has a built-in timer um, but unfortunately the only thing about the timer is it's an hour minutes and seconds um, not in game term you know game time which is of course rounds and turns uh, so that's the only thing I have with the timer is, you know, if you said the thing like your hell in two rounds, the bad guys are going to show up and then you start the timer. It doesn't do that. And then we have, of course, you know, the settings where you can change the colors and stuff like that. Then over here we have the fun stuff. It has a couple built-in maps, and of course you can also import maps. Let's play with the generic grid. So here's the generic grid. Let's make this go away. And then you have a lot of icons for multiple characters. Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, look at this all the way down. And it has more icons you can add. And it has a search function, which means you can import your own icons. Though I haven't figured out how to do that yet. And then let's pick an icon. Let's go with this goblin. And look, he, he fits right on the screen and everything. you. And then you can keep more of them on the side. So, you know, for later on, you have a move tool. Let you move the screen. Let's you move your goblin, and when you're done with him, into the trash he goes. You have a select tool, so let's say I want to select all three of my goblins and put them on the screen. Oh, a random encounter! Suddenly there's three goblins! Yeek! There you go. Or I could select one and show like how we're going to do movement. Okay, on this round, this goblin moves, bam, two, three, four, five hexes. And this goblin over here, he's going to move one two, three, four, five hexes. But this goblin over here, he's going to stay. So it's got that. It's got a fog of war tool. So, oh, I don't want you to, you know. So, oh, you can't see that. Oh, where's that goblin? So that's, you know, your fog of war tool. And you can change the shape of the fog of war. You could use it probably for like spell radiuses and stuff like that. Or just to draw weird pictures. And then when you want to stop, you can change what the fog looks like. 
There's your spell radius. You can change the, you know, you can paint it on if it's like a weird shaped thing. And then when you're done with it, you just erase it. Boop, 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 boop. So that's fun too. Here is the drawing tool for each of the colors. And then you could like change colors. So you have this, the brush, which we've just seen. Let's say I want to drop, you know, a cave. And then I'm going to change the color and fill that cave in with water. And then it has a line tool for drawing, you know, like your dungeon hallways. Etc, etc, etc. And then when you just want to get rid of something, boop, erase it, boop, 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 or trash the whole thing, erase all. And you can, you know, fill the whole screen, different shapes, and again it has a measuring tool, it has a pointer, so if you want to say, all right, which one are you targeting? Oh, I'm targeting this one. Uh, it has a measuring tool, so you can you know, like figure out, oh, am I within 15 feet of this goblin? It has a note tool, so I can go, this goblin is sleep and obviously I can change the size and put that right there he's asleep I mean yeah it's bare bones and then you can just, it's got of course it's got an undo but this is really simple I mean I figured this out and obviously you know there probably is deeper layers to this that I haven't discovered yet but it seems pretty, pretty simple. I mean, it's very bare bones. And then, you know, you could just do stuff. I don't know what I just did, but somehow I made it too small, but whatever. And then you could like probably add another one. Can I add another map on top of the first map? No. So you can't stack maps. Uh, so this would be your entire dungeon, but you could build an entire dungeon and then erase the full screen, bring it back, add, subtract. But yeah, and of course, just this wonderful, and look, you even have different dice types. And then bam, look, there's our new dice. You know, roll by 3d6. One, two, three. And look, and look they stack on top of each other. The, the dice physics is amazing. You can expand the tray, shrink the tray, and they react. I mean, that, that that's just fun. <laughs> I put my little guy here. You can, get, you can change the size of these guys. You can change the size of the screen. I could make him bigger. Roar! Smaller. You know, I cast an large spell, boom. I cast a shrink spell, boom. Yeah, I mean, it's very bare bones. But if I can figure it out, that just gives it a huge, huge bonus. And you can play, you know, a pretty decent game on here. I mean, obviously, it lacks a lot of the bells and whistles of some of the more complicated virtual tabletops. You know, the very it's just very simple and you can't do multiple maps and stuff like that but you could probably save maps up here and then when they go to a different room you just trade it out for the new map but other than that you know that's the only negative i found so far and the fact that i could figure it out and that you can add things to it is enough for just make it go wow um so yeah i give this and it's free uh, and there's an FAQ and some uh, hacks already online that you can find by just doing Albo Radio, Owl Bear Radio How To, Owl Bear Radio FAQs, or Owl Bear Radio Hacks that show you how to do other things. You know, some ideas like messing around with the shapes to show like spell effects and stuff like that. You know, like, okay. Um, you like that you know like oh that that's the radius of my fireball right you know 
stuff like that. So yeah, just change it, messing around with that. Um, it's a little clunky, obviously. Uh, but yeah, check it out. And it's free. It's free. And you know, if you, if nothing else, this is just fun. <laughs> it's like, there's like digital bubble wrap. I could just do this for hours. It's just fun. And apparently my total is 300 and something and it doesn't crash my computer and I can figure this out. And if I can figure it out, that's amazing because we know I cannot do these things. So that's our re first review for 2022 virtual tabletop of Owl Bear Radio. Thanks again to Aaron Pendentic for helping us discover this and playing around with it. Here's the link will be in the description of this vlog. If you want to see me do more virtual tabletop reviews, let me know. If you want to see me review different things, let me know. Remember, the schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday news, Tuesday, Thursday reviews, interviews, and GM tip type things. That is it for Owl Bell Radio. Till next time, stay off my lawn, you damn kids, brah!